Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back to Twitch this morning. If you're uh, here live with us streaming, welcome back to YouTube if you uh, have joined us for the pod once we get that uploaded. Uh, this is Fortress Scrap Evolved. Uh, this is our current world that we're building towards our extra life uh, attempt this year. Uh, when I say extra life attempt, what we're planning on doing is November 5th and 6th over on Twitch. We'll be streaming from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, November 5th and November 6th. Uh, trying to raise money for Extra Life, specifically Texas Children's Hospital here in Texas. Um, if you guys can join us live, that'd be great. Uh, we'll be giving stuff away. We'll be all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, so, mark your calendars. Come hang us out. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Plum Yeti. Uh, we'll be just having a lot of fun. Uh, if you can stop by, we would greatly appreciate it. Uh, and uh, if we can raise some money for Texas Children's, that would be even better. If you're wondering how we're going to take turn the game that we're playing into uh, donations for Texas children, uh, let me run up here real quick. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll kind of start off this morning with a base tour. Uh, I know uh, we kind of took a break from from Fort Trap for a little bit. Uh, we were kind of worried about um, oh, just, I did it. Uh, burning ourselves out beforehand. Uh, so we do better when we, uh, when we have limited time. Oh, good. That's a good place for that to land. Uh, oh, good. There's a, that's working still. That's good. So if you guys are wondering, uh, uh, if you if you're new to this game, you don't know how it works. Um, I have George Blue Garbage. Uh, you don't know how this game works. Uh, the way it functions and works and does what it does is it, uh, it's basically a tower defense game where you build a factory. Uh, and the, the more factory you build, the more angry the, the bugs get. The more angry the bugs get, the more bugs that show up, the more damage you do to your factory. The bigger factory you need to build in order to defend against the bugs. Uh, it's, uh, a pretty uh pretty uh okay. oops so I hit the right point. Uh pretty uh self fulfilling prophecy there. Uh so the more angry the bugs get, the bigger your base gets, the more power you put out, it's the more bugs show up. It, it just it just cycles really low. Now normally that cycles into a, a point of oblivion where your, your maximum threat you can really hit in this game is about, well, it's not about, it is 20,000 uh, maximum threat. Uh, there is a item in the game. You see over here, we're firing missiles off. Oh, it looks like we've been growing while, while we've been offline. Oh, it looks like uh, looks like we're gonna have some problems. Looks like we may have been feeding a feeding something. Um, so we're gonna have to get that up there. We may have to build something to to take care of that. So uh, you'll see the bugs coming in here. Um, let's see. I was trying to see some bugs flying in. So the bugs will fly in. Uh, you know, we have, uh, have building missile bases to help take care of that, to, uh, to kind of, uh, help, help, uh, defend. Uh, so the more of these, these threat agitators we put in, the, the angrier the bugs get, the stronger the bugs get, it's just, every, everything is bad. So... And uh, these things here that are growing, uh, not not good. Uh, so I may need to get some ablators. 
uh, and go and go put stuff up there to kind of kind of fill that stuff off. Uh, usually that's caused by somewhere there being a belt feeding uh, a Minox somewhere. Uh, so once once Pete gets in, we'll sort that out and find out the correct term. So, and this is all of our, you know, the beginning of our missile base here. So we've kind of taken a break from it for a little bit. Uh, the plan is is to try to defend the CPH there uh, from people that are donating money. Uh, we'll see how that works out for us. Uh, see how much money we can actually raise this year. Uh, this is our manufacturing board. I should take him with going here real quick. If you're wondering how I'm doing that, uh, I use my my uh, mouse wheel and I click uh, and point at something and it will pick it up and then uh, it uh, I remember all the controls, so I need to get There's a threat agitator. Uh, I'll start building those here very soon. I have failed. I do not remember where they are. Oh, there's the later Rick Fryer. Could actually look and make sure I'm building what I need to build there. I don't think I am building. I think I'm requesting the eyes.
Dang, um, Indoor. Indoor. All right. So basically, what that'll do is it will automatically put ten of each of those in there. Now the problem here is, is I think I need green eyeballs. I don't remember if I have green eyeballs coming down here. Alright, some of the stuff I do not need. Now you're gonna go find the seeds. There you go. A crude organic lens. Oh. Are we? I think we're just growing the crude organic lenses. The problem is, I don't know how many of these things I have in here, and the problem is, is that I think
that. Let's do. Yeah, I'll go that. Back. Shoot me for them in there. It's a big, crazy line. The real issue, and the question is whether or not we have. I've been destroying them. Alright, we'll just uh, we'll play it by ear. We'll get down here, check and see how it's going. The problem is these show mostly the perfect faceted eyes. I think somewhere I'm destroying I'm actually making any of them or if I have any of them. I don't see why I'm destroying them. It's all wound stuff. Yeah, it's all wound. What if I have to murderize slimes?
you're not gonna take it off. That's not that's not optimal. So it's the pristine better eyes. I set up that whole loop for no reason whatsoever. Alright, good, makes it. Go. Now I gotta go back and check and see. Mr. 18, how you doing this morning? How have you been? I'm doing good, man. Uh, the YouTube stuff is starting to make some progress. Um, I'm, I'm actually starting to feel good about it. Uh, it's it's a lot of work, and a lot of people are... Uh, obviously, a lot of people are, are working over there. Uh, so, uh, it, it's not by any stretch of the imagination quick. But I, I feel like I'm making progress. Doing, and what well, the time we're recording here, I think in the last month, 
we've gained I want to say like 15 subs over on on YouTube uh, we're up to over 200 watch hours which Here's here's the sad part. On YouTube, those numbers are horrible. Like most people that that have been doing YouTube for a while are like if they had a video that did that, they would you know be done with it all, right? Uh, but I'm so used to not growing at all on Twitch. That those numbers are amazing to me. And that's how sad uh, the discoverability on Twitch is. Uh, we've talked about this quite a bit. Uh, I, I've been trying to share that journey with people. Uh, and kind of be very upfront and very forthcoming with that. So uh, if nothing else, I'm, I'm hoping uh, that I can inspire other creators to kind of kind of take a take a look at their their own stuff and um, do do what they need to do for for their stuff but yeah I I highly recommend if you're not actively on YouTube uh, you're not moving videos over there you're not doing little things over there to do stuff uh, if nothing else minimum it It gives you better stuff to do uh, for for naming your broad or naming your, your streams on Twitch. Getting that thing, and I'm not going saying go out. Let's you know, let's all do clickbait titles, and I because I I'm not going to do that. I, I can't. I just the uh, the whole clickbaity thing. I'm not I'm not a fan of it. Some people are, and some people really really enjoy it. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not about all that. Uh, we're going to, that's things that I'll be going here soon. So hopefully we'll get that stuff going. Uh, it's a mess. I need to put, set up a bunch of ablators. What I'm going to do is I'll set up a bunch of ablators in the, the past of these things. maybe something you off offline so but what i've been doing is uh I, I try to upload at least a video a day uh where i've got people looking through some of my old vods uh my old uh my old clips from uh Uh, so some of my old VODs, my old stuff like that, uh, and I'm trying to get some stuff built so we can start doing shorts, we can do things like that. Uh, but I, I just want to do shorts that better basically are clipped out of, uh, uh, clipped out of our streams and then send, send things over that way. I, I think that's, that's fair and awesome. That's new. Oh, somebody, did somebody try to do a, uh, a Lumia stream thing at the same time? Very confused as to what happened there. So uh, the the uh, the game the game does Lumia stream commands too. So if somebody tried to do a Lumia stream command, uh, it didn't take it. So if it's if it's doing an attack wave, uh, you'll just, you'll have to try it again. We can do things like this. 
That was nuts. Oh, Jaws is so good. I love it so much. Alright. Where we been? So that should be going good now. I need to go down and check on the cryoplasm. We're kind of just seeing where, where everything is this morning. This is still going well. This one's dead. Or I think we have this one exposed. I don't know if it's dead yet. So the next couple of days, uh, this week basically we got to get the cryoplast killed. Because in my infinite wisdom I thought it'd be funny to try to do both at the same time.
do a little bit of clearing here. So that should start digging those out towards that direction. Here, find this guy. Which, unfortunately, uh, this does two things. First, it uh, Batteries at completely dead. Come on, come on. Church. How have you been, Mr. M18? How's uh how's your town doing? I haven't made it in your town for a while. Oh shit, really dude? Well that would might explain why I haven't been there in a while. Is it a GG? I don't know. Uh, I, I, I see what they were trying to do. And honestly, it's some of the stuff that I tried to do, right? Like, I, I truly tried to help other people uh, and try to... Uh, I, I, I really do try and help uh, other streamers and, and try to build a community and stuff like that. Uh, like the big difference between me and that group is that uh, I'm not trying to monetize it and I'm not trying to aggressively monetize it. Wow. Yeah, they, uh, I'm honestly, 
to, to be to be you know a hundred percent you know I, I'm glad I'm glad I, I escaped that relatively unscathed uh, I, I just kind of bowed out respectfully with creative differences and just uh, I was I was very fortunate that uh, I didn't I didn't get on the uh, the wrathful side of that I don't even know if they're still going or not I, I don't look at them um, I'm not Yeah, that sucks, man. Honestly, if I were you, uh, if if you do if you do want to get back into that stuff, I would just start over, dude. Oh wow. Well, if you're gonna do it, I definitely wouldn't use the same uh, the same name. I would I would rebrand yourself. And uh, go hang out, go hang out on your buddy YouTube. But yeah, I I could definitely understand also that that leaving a bad taste in your mouth and not wanting to uh, not wanting to deal with that. Because that that is something that people don't realize that uh, when when you when you start doing this stuff, you definitely open yourself up. Not that it makes it okay, like nobody should be treated that way. Uh, but you definitely open up yourself to some bad, bad actors. I'm sorry, dude. I forgot all about that. I, I try to, I try to block bad shit out of my freaking brain. Cause... Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's just not worth it, man. It's, you know, when, especially when it's stuff like that. But, it, It's it's two things, right? Like it's it's one thing, like if you're uh, obviously with things like that, you're you're you know obviously can cause some issues, can cause some uh, some difficulty with you, uh, and and cause you to to not want to do it. But at the same time, sometimes you kind of have to, uh, you have to do what you enjoy. So if that's not what you're enjoying, then obviously don't do it. Like, yeah, see, that's the, the problem. I've been on a big mental health kick as of late. Uh, well, I did. I kind of always have. Uh, living in a submarine for a while, uh, it'll, it'll do it to you. Uh, but obviously in the beginning of the year, I took, took some time off. Um, it was, it was kind of forced time off. And, uh, so I, I, I get into a lot of this stuff regularly on, on the channel. Uh, I was, I, I, I don't want to be like, Oh, I had depression because I don't want to make light of it. Uh, I, I just, I was in a bad place, right? My dad wasn't doing well. Then, you know, I got COVID then I lost my dad. Like. It, it was it was a bad place and and I don't suffer from depression like I know some people really do so I don't want to make light of it and try to, to wave the flag um, but mental health like we don't talk about that stuff in general enough and when we do talk about it you know you know it, it's you know all oh, you know What's wrong with you? You know, just get out of bed and go do stuff. You know what? Some days you can't get out of bed. You know, and you know, obviously that that may or may not be your your guilt, but the whole part problem with mental health issues in America nowadays is, uh, oh, here, just take this wonder drug. That will make it better. Oh, don't actually solve the problems that are there. You know, just take this wonder drug. So, and, and I'm not saying that. Please don't take it as me saying that some some conditions need medication to fix them and to help, but there's other underlying things too that you need to work on at the same time. 
right? Uh, of, of the reasons why they're that way. Sometimes it's a chemical imbalance. Sometimes it's a, uh, you know, a repressed memory or, you know, but you need to go get help, whatever it is. Like, I'm not, I'm not help. Like, don't take my advice because I don't freaking know. I'm an, I play freaking video games and build computers. Um, but there are mental health professionals out there that are, that are there to help you. And there's usually aspects in Oh, it's batteries. Okay. Um, but it, it mental health is so stigmatized that like if you have a mental health problem, instantly people you know it's acceptable to make fun of you and it's acceptable to you know you know oh it, there's something wrong with you. No, it's mental health, man. Like, like, how do we control? We don't. I don't control who I am. Sometimes, like, you know, I'm obviously responsible for my actions and my words and stuff like that. Uh, but there's, it, it, and it's starting to get get light, right? Uh, I watch uh, uh, Sweet Anita every once in a while, and if you don't know who she is, uh, she's a uh, streamer in the UK uh, who has Tourette's. Uh, that people have tried to ban on Twitch several times. Uh, and fortunately, Twitch has actually looked at it and said, no, yes, what she said is unacceptable. You can't say that on our channel. And yes, we will ban you for saying that. But the reason she said it is because she has a mental condition. She has, a, you know, a, a known issue, Tourette's, that causes her to shout very inappropriate things at the worst time possible. That is how it works. That's how, you know, um, and, you know, so she literally gets away with murder, uh, but it's not that she's trying to. It's just, it is what it is. And she's not using the mental, I, I, I like watching her because she is bringing awareness to a condition and she's letting people see what it's like to live with that condition, which is not easy. It is not easy. And as people can come out and we have a discussion about mental health and we have a discussion about, you know, your well-being, I'm not trying to be like, oh, let's all get in touch with my feelings. Like a lot of stuff, like I... My internal struggles are my internal struggles, and I'll deal with those. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no worries, man. Uh, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with me coming out to the, the uh, you know, the Discord and saying, hey, having some problems today. I, I can't get up. Like, I have, I have physical issues, too. I have, uh, I get migraine headaches all the time. My back's stacked. Uh. Okay, so now I think it's just, it's telling me when thing, people are changing stuff. When did it start doing that? Okay, so it's telling me that now. Because that was weird, because it wasn't doing it at the beginning of the stream, and then it just magically started doing it. I'm not bad at it.
And the only problem with this is I'm digging a, a path straight to the cryo, which uh, works both ways because now the pyro has a path straight to me. I could have just done that. Fine, where's my battery set? Just let that thing dig for a while. But yeah, so there is a definite issue with uh, mental health and taking care of yourself and not being, you know, taking care of yourself. I mean, as soon as you start talking about it, people are like, you know, start using all kinds of wonderful names to describe you about because, you know, you worry about taking care of yourself. And it's, it's hard. It's one thing that I definitely... Uh, learned at the beginning of the year was that even though uh, my mental health was uh, was bad, like it, it starts affecting your physical health, it starts it starts affecting so many things, um, and it's not like you can't you can't just shake it off. You can't just you know uh, you know. Be like, oh well, I, I I just decided today that you know it's it's okay. I, I I'm not gonna. Where I'll find a battery. Um, like it, it's just a fog. It's it's like it's like a big heavy weight blanket that's just setting on you. Yeah, you can't get it off. Like it's just it just holds you down. Um, so some days you just uh, need a little help and fortunately we have the community I have my friends and my family and you know I eventually eventually got out of it and uh, but I just it's hard uh, so but it is what it is so uh, but in the process and in, in that, I've, I've grown, I've, I've gotten stronger. Um, I, I was able to, to, to uh, make it through it uh, and, and come back. And uh, now we're back. 
we're spreading out to YouTube. We're, uh, we're, we're trying to grow the channel. We're trying to grow the community. Uh, and if you guys aren't hanging out over on YouTube with me, uh, you probably should. Uh, I'm starting to post more and more stuff over there. Uh, it's, it's a different feedback loop. I, I'm used to Twitch where people come in, we chat, uh, you know, I, they ask questions, I answer immediately, or I, I don't know about immediately for me. Uh, sometimes it's, it takes me a minute. Um, I, I, I try. Uh, and, uh, you know, so, so, so I'm used to that, that instant, instant feedback loop, right? That, uh, that, that instant gratification, if you will. Uh, on YouTube, it's a little bit different because I have to wait. Like, I literally, it's weird because you'll, I upload a video, I go to sleep, I'll wake up in the morning and I check to see how, how it did. You know, uh, I, I try not to watch the numbers really close. Uh, but the analytics and, and stuff that YouTube provides for, for you compared to Twitch is, is insane. Um, and if one thing I've learned from kind of doing that is the, uh, the reason that a lot of people on YouTube do things the way they do them, uh, because there's a lot of stuff, uh, when people are like, Hey, you know, make sure you, you like it and sub and you know that at the end of the video like if you guys really want to help your your friends that are on youtube or the channels if you really want to help them at the at very end of the video it pops up that little thing for the next video to watch on the actual not the ones on the side the ones on the video click on that one that dude that that helps your your the, the channels on youtube so much like i did not realize how much it helps them uh, until here very recently. Oh, I almost died. Uh, all right, so I got both of those digging through. This one's, this one's going now. Uh, I'm just trying to get all this stuff kind of set up so that uh, we have tunnels and everything dug to uh, start clearing out uh, the cryopossum. Um, I'll need to go to the end of this one here a little bit. Probably. I just need more excavators, but I don't have them. Well, I should probably pick up these excavators. The ones, the ones on the bottom aren't really doing much anymore. Yeah, so it's just it's it's a learning process is trying to figure out how to do things and how to how to use the tools that I have been given.
right now and try to figure out how to use the tools that are freezing me to death. Uh, but yeah, so that is what it is. But yeah, uh, over on YouTube, we're, we're uploading videos for... Right now, I'm doing uh, PC Building Simulator. I'm having so much fun with that game, honestly. Uh, I've gotten water cooling open. I'm trying to, trying to work through some of the, uh, the game so I can get... Uh, Uh, hardline tubing open trying to get the rest of the stuff done uh, that's going to be one of those ones I think I'm just going to keep coming back to I, I don't know uh, other other than doing uh, ones that require Cinebench runs like that like I had one last night uh, I was doing that just it, it, may, it made me want to punch babies man like it was, it was bad. Problem is, I don't know exactly where center is. Call it here. But yeah, so uh, that game is, is great. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. If you guys haven't checked that out, it is a... Uh, is a Epic exclusive, which isn't the most optimal thing. Uh, but... If you can at least get past that and get... Uh, I know, I know you have, uh, so the, uh, it's not the most optimal thing. I know a lot of people aren't really happy with the whole Epic exclusivity thing. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I, I've given up on the whole Epic exclusivity fighting it. Uh, like I, I don't want to be in the long run. Epic is good for for the industry. It's good for, for competition. It's good for stuff like that. I don't have to like Fortnite. I don't have to like the fact that they're throwing money at it just to buy exclusivities. Um, my uh, my biggest fear is what's going to happen uh, once the uh, they decided that the exclusivity stuff isn't working and they they pulled up shop and and head out. Uh, that's that's really what my fear is. Um, it's 
that one doesn't really help that much. Uh, so I, I'm more worried from a point of view of, you know, what, what happens when all that stuff kind of runs out. Uh, because as we've seen here lately, it doesn't always go well for the consumer. Uh, but yeah, so, I don't, I've been playing it. I'm having fun with it. I'm having a good time. Uh, the videos uh, will keep coming out. Uh, it, it makes it a little bit easier. Like last night, I posted one that had a, a pretty much a Karen uh, email of, I want a computer with, you know, a water-cooled CPU. I'm like, okay. And... And I think what got me was the, the uses of, like, exclamation points and, like, you know, like, they were, like, shouting at me. Like, I could just imagine this lady walking in being like, you don't give me this exactly what I want. Okay. And normally, like, you'd be like, all right, well, the way I build computers for, for people in real life is I don't build to a, a spec. Uh, I do more, they have the ones where, like, you build to a game. Like, you come in, you're like, hey, I have this much money. I need you to build to... I, I want to play this game. Right? If you come to me and you're like, hey, I want to build a, build a computer. I'll be like, all right, well, what do you what do you play? What do you, or what do you want to play? What's, what what are we trying for here? And you're like, I want to play Fortnite. I'd be like, ah, oh, crap. Well, I don't like Fortnite. And I wish you wouldn't play that. But okay, that's fine. That's, it's your happiness. You do what you got to do. Um, and then I would go look up the specs for Fortnite and look up people that had uh, computers that basically would run what we wanted to run. And I would build to those specs, uh, not to, uh, right? So I build you something, maybe give you a little bit of buffer room so that you could, you could play it on the, the graphic quality that you wanted with the, the numbers you, you were looking for. Uh, to your budget uh, to come in and say I want you know I want a cushion water cooling loop on a CPU and I don't care what the CPU is and, I, and if I'm like well what are you using this for well you know it doesn't doesn't matter just build me a, I just want a, a cushion water cooling loop All right, at that point honestly in real life I'm not building you a computer um, I had a, a friend that uh, once was very, very adamant. He wanted a computer to basically surf uh, the internet and to check his email. And he wanted me to build him a computer. He just, he just wanted me to build him a computer. He didn't care. He just wanted me to build a computer that he could have. And uh, I just told him flat out, I was like, dude, I'm like, you're wasting money. I'm like, look, seriously. I'm like, here, look, see, boom, go do this. Go buy this computer. This will do everything you need to do. It's going to cost you less than half what it's going to cost for me to build you the same, you know, the, the, you know, and not even the same thing. It would been a less computer. I'm like, you know, I, I'm like, just, just buy this. And, uh, but he was adamant and, like I resisted, 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 and ultimately I I built the computer for him basically for free because I just was trying to save him as much money as I could. Um, because like it, he was a friend, like I, I didn't want to take advantage of him, you know. But the uh, you gotta be careful what you ask for with a computer, especially if you find somebody that's a uh, an unscrupulous. Uh, person, they uh, they'll, they'll take advantage of you. But uh, I built I built that computer for that lady last night in the in the game, and I gave her exactly what she asked for. <laughs> she had she had the slowest. She had a twenty dollar processor with a 
I want to say it was like a like a four hundred dollar water cooling pocket. It was great. <laughs> but she got what she asked for. Hi, Punchy Magoo. And how's that working out for you? That's all just kind of kind of working its way out. It's gonna take it a while to dig these. I, I I started those early so that we could we did have uh, some some building going down there. I look more punching with these. Damn. I've already locked on. You ain't getting away from me now. You guys punch me in the face too many times. Alright. So, a lot of this is just going to be building out uh, paths to get to the cryo. Uh, and then, over the next... Uh, hopefully this week, uh, it's going to be mostly just clearing cryo out. Uh, and getting those those battles kind of fought and won. Uh, it may be doing that, and then probably this afternoon, um, I may I may go live again. I'm having a lot of fun. I want to make sure that I. Uh, I keep this fun because I think when I'm having fun, I do a lot more. I do a lot better. I do a lot. Uh, I, I, I'm just happier in general when I'm having fun. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, so we'll just kind of keep doing that. And uh, just generally having fun. And I think that comes through in the videos and comes through in the community and stuff. Uh, if you guys are uh, streamers, if if you're on Twitch right now and you you're looking for help to try to get started on on YouTube, uh, come hang out in the Discord. I got a, a page that I'm kind of posting stuff in there, like as I learn it and as I I do things. Um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of gaming the system that you can do. Uh, like right now, I'm sure if I really, if I really tried hard, I could try to get, uh, I could probably have a lot more, uh, uh, I'd have a lot more traction on YouTube if I really tried hard. Well, if I tried really hard, uh, there's a people that you can just basically pay that then your your YouTube channel takes off. I don't want to do that. Uh, I want to grow organically. Uh, like the same thing I did on Twitch. Uh, it, it's one of those things that I, I want to learn the platform. I, I want to learn how to do things uh, because in the, the long run it makes it makes it better. I think it may have I may have put that thing way too low. Well. Battery should have been here, so it's actually been. We should put there instead.
Um, but I, and I'm not, and not not to be like, you know, uh, well, this is sound the way it, it sounds, but the people, other streamers, aren't my competition. Like, uh, if somebody if somebody wants to go watch another streamer. There's shit all I can do about that. Uh, and me trying to fight with another streamer to convince somebody that I'm better than they are isn't going to end well for me. Uh, so, uh, another streamer is not my, not my competition. That's not, you know, so trying, you know, if I help another streamer or help another person on YouTube to get better uh the the worst thing that could happen from that is they become successful they do well in their life and then they don't return the favor that's the worst thing that could happen um i guess they could you know get better and blow up and then you know be mean to me uh but uh, it's whatever i i don't control other people uh, so if, uh, if you guys are in a, in a position where you're trying to learn that stuff, uh, come hang out in the, the discord. There's some channels, come ask questions. If I don't know the answer, uh, I'll either do a Google search and try to come up with a video or something. And, and I'll, I'll give that to you. If I know the answer, I'll, I'll do my best to answer it. Uh, if I don't know it, maybe somebody else knows it. Uh, nothing else. Maybe, maybe we all grow together as a community. Uh, and hell, maybe, maybe, uh, some, you know, a few of us make it, you know, maybe a few of us make it. And then, uh, as, as you know, as that happens and a few of us do make it, we can help the other ones and then we all make it. We all do a little bit better. All right. Oh, yes. I actually kind of, I, I kind of like that it, it's, it's doing that now. I am going to fall and get posty. All right. I think this stuff is all going good down here now. Actually, I will find... But yeah, I think there's a there's so much competition, and everybody's taught that you know everybody's after each other. People spend so much time trying to defend themselves from imaginary enemies that we don't defend ourselves from the real enemy, which is the corporations.
what do we got here? What can I get rid of today? Oh, that can go away. Do, do, do. Those can go away. What else? That can go away. Better. And for everybody that is here. Uh, and hanging out and coming to say, say hi. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you guys are looking, uh, make sure you, you hit your mark or hit your calendars. Uh, we're coming in November 5th and 6th from 8 a.m. to 11 or 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, and we'll be doing Extra Life all day. Uh, we'll be trying to fight with the, the hive minds. Uh, we'll, we'll be. Uh, slightly upsetting them. It, it'll be, it'll be good. It'll be good fun. Try to figure out the best way to get rid of the good stuff. Because I need to get. I need a blader. I need liquid fire um, and then once I get the ablator and the liquid fire uh, I don't think I, I need the resin recliner I don't think I need that but I need something to get rid of it That should that should build the administrators. Um, so, uh, but we're gonna be doing that. So the plan is is uh, as people come in, donate money every every five dollars that we have, we'll add another threat estimator. Uh, and I try to uh, keep the base going as long as I can uh, by putting more defenses and trying to build stuff to, uh, to slow down the, uh, the, the angriness. it is right now uh, I'm going to go up here and uh, try to slow this thing down
then eventually what I'll do is I'll fly back up here. Uh, I'll just have to put a... Uh, basically a macerator. I don't think I have a macerator on. I know I do have a macerator. No, no. This will push this thing back a little bit. And just kind of keep it from getting over the wish I could just copy that and just go bloop, and just paste it down in places better right now because I don't have batteries. I want to see the clean Blocks. 
Sweet. Uh, help me. Because if it has a range of 16, then I could put it like... Oh, that's starting up now. I'm going to slowly get it. I just need to make sure that this thing will work. Oh, actually, I guess I can do it this way. I need something I can destroy. I think it has to output to a box. <laughs> so 
better if it does that. Yeah. Definitely not optimal, but uh, it will work. things to destroy. That's gonna actually work. And I need to put something in here to I have that. I have like break this first kind of stuff. I could die that way. That's great. Oh, because I was standing in front of the Mesa Raider. I'm a dumb dumb. Oh, you can get some health back in. Can you? as much as I'd like.
don't tap, actually. Alright, that's what we need to do. mess. Uh, so the server's been kind of running for a couple of weeks uh, by itself. Uh, so I'm not sure where they're being fed from. Uh, we, I, I thought we paused it, but I guess we didn't. Uh, so not a big deal. I'm just going to go poke a couple of these things around the top of here. It, uh, it'll uh, all work out. Just slowly, slowly going through, building it. It's not a, you know, not a good use of the stuff, but we have more than enough uh, refined resin coming out. I'm not worried about that. I just figure it's a good place to stop these things from uh, encroaching. Uh, this thing, this uh, world has weeks on it, uh, and we're just kind of letting it run. Uh, and we're fighting the uh, surface war and the cryoplasm at the same time. Uh, I think there's some problems. Uh, I think what's happening is we're having uh, the cryoplasm is touching some batteries. That's causing some problems. It stands, uh, 
This this place is very angry. <laughs> How are you doing this morning, Mr. T? Or Mr. T and T. But yeah, so we've been having trouble with the uh those things and we've been causing massive problems usually uh pete just comes in and uh nukes them from orbit and then we just call it call it good i pick in a more of a, a hedge trimming approach pete pete's uh Pete is like a surgeon when it comes to the uh, getting rid of those guys. That thing cleared out, so it starts functioning again. It, uh, it went out there. I can deal with that.
I should really get rid of those things because they blink. Annoying. This thing. Jesus. How far? All right, that thing's all going now. Oh, ready for base readers. I think I hit those now. Aha! Somewhere in here I have these right here. That's what I have. Oh, now I did it. They're a uh, very angry bet. Oh, 
Uh, I didn't really think today was going to turn into a trimming the hedges, uh, but here we are. I mean, I think these are popular, so well. I'll still clear them out. Crap, there's a bunch of seats back here. I think for now, I think I'm okay. I've got quite a bit of them. Oh, okay. Uh, I already had one on the end of that one. That's fine. It's actually probably good uh, having two of those so it doesn't inter interact with that thing too much. I'll go back here check the ones around the CPH. We should be in a lot better position with those. Helps if I put those in the right way.
back in chat. Those are all working out. Those will just go through and cut all those out. Then uh won't have to worry about that crap anymore. So hopefully, you know, because obviously it's not growing massively quickly. Uh so I should have enough to uh kind of murderize this thing. Keep it keep it knocked back. Bunch of that might be hard. Wow. What the hell? They're just landing on top of each other now. There's a lot of the same guy here. I think that one over there scares me. Okay, good one. It just goes around it. Oh, what a mess. What the hell? Oh, there's bug parts. I thought it was a Minoc up there for a second. I was like, what in the hell?
done. Let's see how many, uh, just 26 of them. All right. All right. I think I'm going to kick off a little bit early today, guys. Uh, earlier than usual. Kind of a kind of a slow day getting back into it. I want to let this stuff kind of get caught back up on the server a little bit. Uh, kind of get this stuff back into the swing of it. Uh, we are definitely making some progress, so. My, uh, my wrist, for some reason, I think I slept on a rock or something. My wrist is certainly really bad. I'm going to go take care of that. Yeah. I see anybody that really good. So I'm just going to let Twitch do what it does. You guys be safe. We'll talk to y'all soon.